painted. Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor, and this is my first ever Let's Play I've ever done, starting with Luigi's Mansion. I figured that I should do an easy game to start off with. So, uh, you probably need to know that this is in, I'm playing in Dolphin Emulator, so there will be graphical issues, and we will see some in a moment when I actually start the game. Um, but, yeah, that's also why it's in 4x3. My screen, I don't have a big enough screen or multi-monitors, so I can't have, um, the recording software on one screen than Luigi's Mansion in an entire window on another screen. It's, a uh, the size of the screen just doesn't work for that. So, let's start a new game. Spooky and dark. So the first thing that you probably see is this door right up here with spikes on it. If you grab this door with your hand, you actually uh, lose five hearts of five HP. And if we open this door, it does nothing because this is pretty much just the prologue. Um. I actually tested to see what would happen if you uh, kept touching the door, and you actually do, um, you can lose all your health. This is actually the earliest you can um, lose all your health in this game. If we uh, check that, oh I should probably tell you the controls. Check that, and there's nothing in it. You know what, that's really strange. No, there's nothing in there. Hmm. Sometimes, um, by checking the shelf, sometimes it will cause the vase to be checked too, but not all the time. Now the controls, it's probably a good idea to tell people controls. Analog stick to move around, move Luigi around. Um, C stick to move the flashlight around. It's inverted, for the, um, flashlight, it's an actually inverted controls. A button calls out for Mario or checks objects. B, you have to push and hold it, it turns the flashlight off. R, L, X, Y, and Z. Those will do things later, not yet. So, let's open this door. Oh, it's locked, but what was that? Hmm, strange noise, let's go down here and check it out. Oh no, it saw me. I need to leave. Improperly layered graphical effects much. And when we walk up to this key, it'll act we'll actually pick it up. I was actually doing that just to be I don't know. Just for fun, I guess, because it's obviously not where the key goes. And you might be wondering what we do with that key, what door it goes to. Well, it doesn't, it definitely doesn't go to this door. It actually goes up here. Most people actually take the left staircase. 
I mean, sometimes people take the right, but usually I've seen people take the left staircase. Now, what mm -hmm. we want to do is just open the door with the key, put the key in the lock, turn it, take it back out, and then put your hand on it and twist. And have the door squeak. <laughs> Hi there! <laughs> now, this character right here is called um, Professor Egad, who will be introduced later well, in an upcoming cutscene. Professor Egad will actually be introduced to the player. But I figured I could tell you their name now. Ouch. Oof, I sure take a lot of knocks in this line of work. I'm getting too old for this ghost catching tomfoolery. Anyway, nice to meet you. I'm Professor E. God. This house, I swear, it has. it seems to have more ghosts every day. What's a young fella like you doing around here, anywho? Oh no! Uh oh, this looks ugly. I'm re All right, youngster, look lively. Follow me, post haste. It's really difficult for me to speak in with a British accent quickly. <laughs> so your name's Luigi. I think that our paths were destined to cross. Where well, met Luigi? Hmm? What? Where's this? You ask? Why these close cozy head or these cozy quarters are where I do my ghost studying Professor E. Gad's ghost research laboratory the lab if you're of a short in mind You won this mansion in a contest you didn't even enter sounds pretty fishy to me So you believe this mansion actually just sent strange I've been living here since I was a lad of 20 or so and I'll tell you, that mansion just appeared a few days ago. The spirits have fooled you. I don't know if it's a dream, an illusion, or what all, but I surely wouldn't be too happy about winning a haunted house. Now that I got to get a quick look, get a look at you, I just recalled a guy with a red hat, kind of like yours, went up to the mansion without even stopping to chat, and he never returned. Was he a dream too? What? That guy was your brother? Oh no, that's horrible. He wouldn't stand a chance against those ghosts without my help. You have to go after him. Here's the plan. I'll, I'll teach you to deal with ghosts so that you can rescue your brother, Luigi. Now this shows us all of our controls. Just like I said earlier, A, B. A does examine or open a door or call for Mario. B turns the flashlight on or off, you have to hold it. Uh, C stick changes the direction that Luigi faces, or it changes where you aim the flashlight or the vacuum. Push R to suck up things with a vacuum. You use Z to check your inventory, Y to check your map, X to search with the Game Boy Horror, the L button to shoot out fire, water, or ice. But we won't be um, doing anything with fire, water, or ice for quite a while. And the left analog stick just moves the Luigi. But if we wait here for long enough, we can actually um, hear a hidden tune if we're patient. And I'll let you listen to it. It actually takes three minutes for this to happen. So I have to cut ahead until it plays. Here we go. In a moment.
There we go. That was those that set of notes that you just heard. That um, I can't really imitate the um, trumpet sound that they use, but that's called Totaka's song because Kaizumi Totaka is a is somebody who actually worked on this game for the music, and um, he composed the music for it. So every game that he works on, there's a, um, people are pretty sure that there's some music that there's a, there's Totaka's song hidden in every game, but there's some games that have that nobody's found Totaka's song in yet. So people are working to find it. It's just a nice little Easter egg Nintendo puts in there. That's the Easter, or that's the vacuum cleaner I engineered to catch ghosts. I call it, this is genius, the Poltergust 3000. It can suck up all kinds of things, let a rip. Use the R button to vacuum and the C stick to change your direction. So now we need to run around and then try and make it look like we want to vacuum. No matter how strong you think your brother is, ghosts are mysterious beings. They can't be caught without they can't be caught using conventional means. So you'd better use this. It's the only way to foil them. This is the only thing they fear. Or something to that effect. Ahem. Well, how's about we start your training? Ghosts seem to like darkness and they avoid the light. So if you hit them with a flashlight beam all of a sudden, you can stun them momentarily. Then it's vacuuming time. When you see your chance, Hold down the R button and tilt the control stick in the opposite direction. Just give it a try. You'll learn more that way than just listening to me yap about it. Now, you can also use the analog stick. You can also use the C stick to make it faster. Remember, as soon as you see a ghost heart, that's your chance to vacuum them up. While vacuuming, tilt the control stick in the opposite direction to bring them in. And the C stick too. Oh, there's only one in here. I guess the C stick actually does help too. A little. When that surprised ghost's heart appears, vacuum it with the R button and the control stick. Tilt the control stick in the direction opposite the ghost. Okay, there's one in here. Yes, I know how to do it. <laughs> you have to get as close as you can before flashing the light. Surprise them with the light when they get close. Pow pow. The more the better. Got it? There we go. Oh, there's gonna be some more. Ghosts love to hide in, a, in dark places. Isn't that a hoot? There, here they come. Okay. Go! I've never gotten four in one attempt. Catching ghosts means using the flashlight and the Fultergust 3000 as a team. You get me, young fella? That'll do. Well, how many did you get? Woohoo! Nine ghosts! Excellent, Luigi. I'd say you're ready to look for your brother now. Fine, fine. Looks like you've worked up quite a sweat there. How about a little cool down in the gallery? I'm quite proud of it, you know. Yeah, let's go to the gallery. Off we go! squad la Okay, now. Um. Hmm. I think these... Yeah, these uh, rocks on the floor, these bricks, actually have... Um, actually make... Luigi go up higher. That's actually interesting. I didn't think they did. I thought they were just textures. Now because I'm playing on a computer, I don't have vibration in my controller, my GameCube controller, because I don't have the right drivers installed. Now I want to show you how to use the um, Game Boy Horror that we just got. You push the X button and you go into this checking mode where it'll scan while well, it's the scan mode. 
we can actually point at stuff, point at the base of this. It's a statue, a very tall angel statue by the looks of it. Actually, that's not a very good Luigi impression at all. I was going to, um, here I'll do what I was origi originally going to do because I'm terrible at impersonating Luigi. It's a statue, a very tall angel statue by the looks of it. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm terrible at impersonating Luigi, so instead I just impersonate Mario. There's not really much to look at here in the um, rest of the area, but we can actually, in the rest of the gallery, but we can actually look um, around this map. This is the map, by the way, if you push Y, you get here. This is the current area that we're in. This, These are other areas. The light-colored doors, those doors right here, right by where the um, up arrow is pointing at that other door right there, those doors are unlocked. Right there. Um, but we can't actually go to these other areas of the... Um, underground area of the lab we can only walk around in the cellar which is actually really interesting that this is on the map because you can actually hack it to go in there but regularly you can't so it's really interesting it's on the map even though you can't go in there now in here we've got I don't really know what it's called oh Z button this actually shows you your uh, inventory um, on this screen you can see the items in the top left uh, square there's you can see that you have the coins the bills and the gold bars the currency in this game I believe is it's actually G not gold G and on this screen we've got ghosts that we can look at I'm going back here um, R uh, turns the poltergust on, you can actually use less. If you're careful, actually, can I go out here? Yeah. There we go. See that? Um, now all the dust particles in here, they're actually, um, they actually increase or decrease Um, mathematically. Luigi's feet look kind of strange right now. Hmm. It's really weird. Or you can push the L button to exhaust. You can actually do just like a little if you want. Just by pressing the L button just a just barely. It like just a little and then you can do it more and then it happens to exhaust more dust but because it's just dust for now eventually we'll um, get an item so that we can actually use it for something now if we walk up here press A on these paintings Luigi hmm. points his finger at it and goes oh. but no uh, it's just showing the um, paintings mm -hmm. and um, eventually we'll f we will start filling these in as we play through the game now what I want to do is I want to talk to Professor E. Gad see what he has to say are you appreciating done appreciating the yacht for today Luigi hold on I'm going to say sorry to bother you just looking okay now I'm gonna walk over here press X scan E. Gad Wait to go, genius. Do you have the hang of that thing yet? I think it's kind of funny. If you actually look at Luigi's face when he says anything, it's like, it looks like he's kind of ornery. It's a little bit weird. Now we go walk up to Egad. Talk to him. Are you done appreciating the art for today, Luigi? Yep. Um, I'll do go back to the lab. All right then. Where will you go, Luigi? Where do you want to go today? Mansion. Careful now, Luigi.
Egad's lab looks like an outhouse. The model is reused later on because of storage. Because GameCube games are only on small, uh, smaller discs, so they have to reuse stuff. First thing I want to do before doing anything else, uh, hopefully I don't forget to check back on this later, is actually grab this blanket, get rid of it, talk to Toad. Boo hoo hoo! Where'd you go, Mario? Wah! Wah! It's raining outside. Where I am right now, it's actually raining. Huh? Luigi? Wow! Wow, it's Luigi! You finally made it! Oh joy! Thank goodness! Me? Well, Princess Peach asked me to come here to look for Mario. He left when he heard that you had won a mansion, and he never returned. Th then, when I arrived here, the mansion was full of ghosts. And I didn't see Mario anywhere, and I kind of freaked out a little, and I didn't know what to do. It's been awful. Please, 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 you have to help me find Mario. Well, you should probably help me find Mario, because he's my brother. Uh, if he doesn't get back, you have no idea how upset the princess will be. She'll flip. Leave it to me. Yay, thanks, Luigi. You made my dark and stormy night. I wish I could help. I could do something to help you. Wait, I've got it? At least let me do this. Save, yes. Game was saved. Nice. Talk to me for help anytime. Like, toads are helpful. I don't think I should have actually said that in front of Toad, but he doesn't seem to mind. Now, if I actually scan this mirror, actually, no, I don't want to scan. Well, yeah, I know I'm going to wait on, wait to scan that. If we scan that mirror, we'll actually be warped back right over here. If I walk around this, yep, it actually, now it activates sometimes when you walk around in the middle of that um, floor the mirror will activate and cause you to um, lose some health in a few coins there's nothing in this pot right here and there's nothing in this one over here now it's very important that you um, check everything now we've got money over here now I want all of the money there we go there we go got all of it nice okay now I'm in a few minutes the video is actually going to be over I'm going to do this room and then we can call it an episode. Grab this. Got it? Actually, wait a minute. I forgot about this again. I'm probably going to cut this out. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so this blanket actually does respawn when you go out of the room. If you scan this, here's what will happen. Spin around, and you get teleported back to the middle of the room. You can keep doing that and that kind of, it can kind of take up a lot of time. <laughs> These spider webs are here, up here aren't just textures. They are actually real, quote, quote, spider webs in the game. You can actually get rid of them. Yeah, so the blanket just respawns. If we check this light, this, yeah, this light. There's nothing in here. Check this. A bunch of money will fly out. Okay, so I think the, um... Okay, that's all the time we have for today. The, uh, it's thundering. Goodbye.